Have you ever wondered how some of these things work when you're riding your bicycle, how they talk to your computer, your bike computer, how what they actually do, how they achieve it? Well, sometimes I think about these things because I have an electronics background. 15, 20 years ago, I was really heavy into building uh, and reverse engineering guitar effects, guitar amps, generating schematics, that sort of thing. And so I thought it'd be interesting to just kind of dissect my old strap that has died and um, just see how it's made, how it works. And so I'm going to give you a quick and as simple as possible overview of what it is what it does, how it works, and uh, if you're curious, hopefully this will satisfy your curiosity. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with the obvious details like the little brain snaps onto the strap and all that stuff, but I'm going to go into a little bit about the uh, patent here. As you can see, the patent number is US 2007-0285868. I went ahead and looked that up out of curiosity, and the patent documents describe what it does, how it works, which is a great source of information when you want to learn how something works, um, if it's patented. So, this is built, manufactured under license using that patent, and basically it's a patent that uses an, an electrode and a signal, signal transmission conductor, which would be this conductive fabric and then the uh, little brain snaps into these things and this is this snap arrangement is also patented under a separate patent so I cut away um, these pieces to see how it works and so right here is the actual electro electrode. There's two of them. That's what they call a dual heart rate monitor. This, these little rubber pads here, I believe, are just to keep it from in place once it gets in contact with your skin. It doesn't try to fall off. And this, this is some kind of fabric that is conductive. And this little snap pops through and they, like I guess, press it into place or it's like a rivet kind of um, and that makes electrical contact with this conductive fabric stuff and then you can see in the middle they have it split one of these is a positive and I believe the other one's a negative um, I have not opened that up to look at it but I believe that's the case that's why there's a specific polarity that they show you on the little brain uh, where you're supposed to plug it in otherwise it's not gonna work right um, and so the patent goes into that there's a an electrode, the signal transmission conductor, and a substrate, which is kind of this like plasticized material, whatever it is, rubberized material. So that forms the strap. Um, now I do not know what the purpose of of the why this is open, and the you know maybe it's just for looks because it looks cool. But that's the strap part of it. And so here we have the little brain of the unit. Um, this is where the little CR2032 battery would go in. Your, these are what snaps into the strap itself. And with some careful grinding and use of a hacksaw, I was able to get to split apart using my knowledge of how these things are generally constructed with injection molded plastic. And here you have the two have separated these little um, these little pieces of metal here. They're spring loaded. They just simply make a contact between the snap and the pad on the PCB. Um, now, as far as the PCB goes, let me zoom in here. Okay, so. As you can see, it's a very compact little double-sided printed circuit board. And um, it doesn't really have all that much on it. There's a, a um, M430G2452 IC chip right here. 
which is a microcontroller with a comparator timer, 8K flash memory, and 256 KB or bits uh, of SRAM. Um, so basically this is taking the signal inputs and it's it's measuring and analyzing what's coming into it and that sends it to this chip here which is a 24L01 plus it's a 2.6 gigahertz transceiver a transceiver is a device that can send or receive signals this little silver thing here is a the tiniest crystal oscillator I've ever seen I believe it's a 16 gig megahertz clock chip that sets the speed of this chip here. These little guys here are just some electrolytic capacitors and I think these are capacitors here and there's some various little tiny transistors and it's hard to see but all these little guys are like little, little tiny resistors. Um, they're like a millimeter long. <laughs> they're really tiny and so I guess this uses the so-called AMP Plus technology. I'm not sure if that is a program that's programmed in the micro microcontroller or what exactly. But when you're talking about AMP Plus technology, you're talking about this microcontroller basically being able to talk to whatever device you want to use with this monitor. So, um, and I believe. I believe one of these, or maybe both of these, are part of the antenna that's um, that allows it to communicate with your your bike computer or whatever whatever device you're using, um, and that's where your battery would go in, and that's the back side of it, and there's like a a big ground plane. This is all a big ground plane right here. Um, I'm not sure if that's to prevent people from trying to reverse engineer this thing or if it's just to keep other, it's probably more to keep things like other frequencies uh, from other devices from interfering with this device. But um, so that's basically it in a nutshell. I thought it was pretty interesting to take a look at this and see how it's made and what chips it uses and that kind of thing um, yeah so for me at least I found this to be interesting I hope you found it interesting too if you did leave me a comment give me a like uh, let me know